Because you guys will need these equations for the problems that you're solving, both the law of sine and the law of cosine. See those okay in the back? Yep. You guys all set? Okay, can somebody give me the last one? C what is that? C squared? Yep. Equals A squared. A squared. B squared. Yep. Minus 2 times A. Times A. Times B. Times B. Times cosine C. Times cosine C. Good. You guys will need these equations for the problems that you'll be doing today in the review. Okay, so now let's hop over and we'll do the law of sine. You guys have that one? Somebody different over here. Does anybody got it? You have it? What do you got? Yep, so this is going to be sine. Sine of A. Divided by A. Over A. Yep. Sine B. Good. Over B. Okay, good. So these are the two uh, equations that you guys are going to need. For, for the basic equations. For the law of cosines, you're going to have to know which formula to use. For the law of sines, it's a little bit more basic. Sine of A is equal to sine B over B. Sine of C is over, over C. So what I want to do now is break you guys up into groups of four. So we're going to have eight groups over the room. A couple of groups might have a group of three, which is no problem. So if we want to go U4 in the corner, U4, U4, and you guys can start moving as I get you going. U3, um, U4 in the middle, we go four here, four there, four there. Okay, Turn around because you guys are going to be working together on this. Also, one more thing. Listen up. You guys are going to have to learn the problem, so I suggest you guys write it down on a piece of paper. Um, write every problem down so that when I pick you to move to the next group, you know what you're doing. You can walk them through the steps on how to solve it. Guys, I suggest drawing a diagram of the triangle to help you solve the problem and help you guys visualize what's going on.
As soon as you guys get your problem, you can start working on it.
and then you're given A and B. So work through that. You're given A and B. Yes, Okay, you're going to it out. How do you know when to use this for I do. I got it. 4.7 is doing only like 17 This is S. you get it, after you get to like a program, you mark the first. That's 30 so let's just subtract from the But couldn't you really It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so what do we what do we know? We got a right angle, and then you guys found the other other side length. So you guys already did that. Good. Okay, so now we have to find an angle C. So how do we know which one? Okay, so when we're given given 90 degrees, and we have the opposite. We have the opposite uh, side length of the angle. Okay. Do we have another side length? Yeah, no, I just the opposite of Z. Okay, so we can use that to find measure of angle Z. You got it? Okay, work with your group, work together, go through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 